Hey guys, so I picked up a new rifle. This one is a Spanish Set Me L, uh, produced by Marcomar. It's actually a mil surp, perhaps not in the truest uh, military surplus form, but it is indeed a uh, parts kit built on a US receiver and barrel. There's actually two main people that are, are producing these. There's Marcomar and there's HMG um, Gunworks. And um, I picked up the Mark Omar for a couple of reasons, um, but we'll go into that in a little bit. I also picked up these here. These did not come with um, the gun. I just thought they were cool. They're Velcro back, little patch things. I thought they were pretty cool. So <clears throat> this comes in a pretty cool uh, case. I'll roll in a picture. Uh, it's a soft case. It's pretty big. It's very heavy duty. Uh, when you get it, make sure you go through all the pockets because my I thought they didn't give me a magazine with my gun, but it was just in one of the pockets. Uh, and it felt like it was empty, but it wasn't. If you don't know much about these, these are Spanish service rifles <clears throat> from the late 80s to, I believe it was 1999. <clears throat> and uh, they didn't use them too much. They had some issues with them. Uh, Mark, and that is one of the reasons why I wanted to go with Marco more because uh, they had some issues with the springs and stuff in them. They weren't super reliable in uh, military service. You can see the markings there. Um, so when Marco Mar got these parts kits, they actually went through and had all new springs made for them. And they also adjusted the magazine well here because these the set me L's are supposed to take a set me L magazine. Uh, the original one was also compatible with some Stenag uh, AR-15 magazines, but Marco Mar actually opened up the magwell a little bit more to make them just a little bit more compatible with uh, <clears throat> AR-15 magazines. So I would did notice I did shoot this uh, today and. Uh, this did not, it would not accept my uh, 20 round mags. My USGI 20 round mags. I have a Colt and a couple other ones. Uh, the Colt, the mags would fit in the, the gun, but when you tried to rack the bolt, it would just get caught up and it would not go past the magazine. So I tried six or seven USGI surplus mags, a Palmetto State Armory magazine, and then this magazine that came with it, which is a, a Dura mag from C Products. All the 30 rounders fit for whatever reason the 20 rounder just would not they just didn't like the 20 rounder so you can see here a little bit of nick on the uh from where the brass casings come out uh, mark omar does recommend that you put some tape there but i'm not too worried about it this is a surplus service rifle so if it doesn't look 100 percent brand new i'm good with that i also changed out the uh furniture basically as soon as i got it this is actually uh surplus furniture uh Mokromar puts u.s made furniture on their uh, parts kits it's a uh, very nice very high quality furniture i just wanted the surplus furniture um and you can see here this heat shield is a little banged up uh, it didn't come like that so this is actually a complete new surplus part not new but it's a uh, not the one that came with it this here is the one that came with it and you can see it's nice and shiny or it's nice and refinished so when you take the Marco more handguard off and try and put a surplus plus handguard on there's a uh, screws in here that screw into the handguard and the screws that come from Marco more are a different thread pattern I didn't know that and they're stripped out so they're not coming out I may drill the screws out then but for now, I just decided it was easier just to get a whole one of these. Uh, right now, you can still get these part kits, these parts kits, and other surplus furniture or surplus stuff. I got this sling here, surplus, and I also picked up a bayonet, which is pretty cool. And I don't know if you can see, there's a little eagle or something there. Um, all this stuff is still relatively cheap. Uh, as you guys know, I'm sure uh, there's no time like whenever the parts kits and stuff are coming in to get stuff because once this, the parts kits and the surplus dry up, 
parts can get expensive. So uh, make sure you shop around because Apex has a lot of stuff, but Apex is also a little expensive. So I got uh, this handguard here for 40 bucks, complete with the heat shield. Um, and it's like 60 or 70 bucks on Apex's website. Uh, if you're interested in surplus stuff, I also shop around these bayonets too. I think Apex is actually out of the bayonets, but I only paid like 40 bucks for it. So they also make a bipod, which I cannot find the bipod. It clips on right here. So, um, yeah. So this here, uh, marking is... The MCM, that's Marco Mars mark. And they copied the Spanish uh, Arsenal mark for Santa Barbara. They took the uh, saber and the gear and just took the SB out and put the MCM in. Also, there's their little import mark or whatever they need to put there. Um, I guess it's not an import mark, but it does say Marco Mars Arms LLC, which, Richmond. Um but uh, that's very discreet. You can barely see that. But I think that this is pretty cool. The uh, other one, the HGM, HMG, they just left that blank, which I think looks pretty boring. So, um, for the reasons and the markings on the uh, Mark Homar look more military. But uh, those are the reasons I went with the Mark Homar. Also, I feel like if you have an issue with Mark Homar, he'll be... A lot easier to get a hold of um, and and be able to help more than HMG because they seem like they're kind of a hot mess just from what I've seen. So you can get these with or without a pick rail. I got mine with a pick rail, planning on putting an optic on it. Um, and then I have uh, the only plastic mag that'll fit in these guns. This gun won't take a uh, P mag, but it will take a Lancer mag. So I have a green translucent mag coming for this. I think it'll look pretty cool. Kind of like the old school with a little bit of the new school. Anyways, uh, so as you can see from the markings here, I did shoot it. I'll put in some footage at some point. I shot 100 rounds through this gun, and I had zero issues. I have seen... A uh, few, quite a few videos, um, including one big YouTuber that has a video on this gun out. Um, and they have had a lot of issues with them cycling. Uh, however, if you read the manual, um, which I highly recommend, here's the manual. This is a pretty cool manual because it just goes into detail. There's a lot of history and stuff in it. Anyways, if you read the manual, it tells you that these guns have a break-in period. It's a run 62 grain uh, NATO spec ammo. This is a or delayed roll of blowback. There's no gas system. So the delayed roll of blowbacks are always a little more finicky with ammo from what I understand. So this gun was designed obviously to shoot NATO ammunition. So, but once they get broken, I hear they're pretty good with uh, steel case and stuff. Uh, they just need a, a good break in like 100 or 200 rounds so um i'm planning on taking this back out as soon as i get the optic for it and shoot another 100 rounds and then i will put some 55 grain through it and we'll see um the barrel on the marco mars is another reason why i got this gun instead of the other one so this barrel here is nitrided and it's cold hammer forged uh the barrel on the hmgs to my knowledge is just uh parkerized finished it is a cold hammer forged barrel but there's no finish on the on the barrel which i i don't prefer I either like chrome lining or nitride so i mean i've had no issues with this gun so far it's been absolutely perfect i absolutely love this gun it's a cool little ar-15 alternate alternative i was kind of hoping it was going to be reliable at least to the point where if i let someone shoot it they weren't going to it wasn't going to take the fun out of it because it was jamming every five minutes. Uh, and it's not. It's been perfectly reliable so far. Um, and I think we're going to do some more videos, some more content with this. This is going to be a really cool deal. Um, you can get these guns without this pick rail here. In fact, in the, mili the military versions did not have this rail here. 
uh, Marco Mara sells both styles. Uh, sometimes it's hard to find one or the other. I think Marco Mara kind of goes into production with one of them, one version, and then like the next month they'll do the next, the other version. So you can always go on Marco Mara's website and order one with or without the rail. And it may take a month depending on which one they're in production of, but so you can always get whichever one you want. Now, I believe they only made, um, Spain only made 60,000 of these. So there's really not that many to be had, relatively speaking. I believe Marco Mar uh, has, I think they got 10,000 parts kits. And of the 10,000, they made a thousand or so, a couple hundred of the um, semi LCs, which are the carbine versions. And I know they are planning on making 8,000 um, semi Ls. And I think they made a couple other versions with the original optics and stuff. Um, so you're looking at 8,000 set me L's and then HMG, I think produced two or 300. And then you're probably talking another, we'll say 2000 to 4,000 parts kits that came in that are going to be built by home, um, you know, home gunsmiths or just somebody that wants to put a parts kit together. Um, so you're, I, I don't really know how many came into the country. We'll say at best 40,000 which I think that number is a little high, but at best 40,000. So I think once these parts kits dry up, these may increase in value. The issue with these right now is there's not a whole lot out there on them. Marco Mar is a small company, small business, and um, they have a little note back, a little thank you back here. I'll put that so you can read that. Um, but I thought that was cool that he... Uh, He's trying to keep the cost down by not uh, advertising. Um, so, like I said, I think we're going to make a, quite a few videos. And then if you go to the back of this manual, there is original Set Me L, um, like Spanish uh, manual in the back. But it's in English, but it's from the original manual. And as you can see, it says restricted there. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, if you get one of these, definitely read the manual. Um, uh, I, I will... Put a picture in of my target but i didn't do any um like i wasn't shooting for groups so i don't know what you're really going to be able to see from that but from what i can see like i said i mean that was 100 rounds it looks pretty good to me and that was 50 yards uh you know we'll, we will see once i get the optic on i'm going to we will shoot a couple groups and we'll see exactly how good this is i'm not expecting a ton i mean if it's a two inch two to three inch gun at 100 yards that's perfectly act good enough for the military so thanks for watching if you're interested in one of these definitely scoop one up and the prices are coming down on them um so they're no longer 1500 i think even atlantic has them down to 1200 i got this on um that shooting surplus website for a father's day um discount and i got it for like 11.40 out the door so definitely check into these uh they're i think they're going to be a good investment piece for for people uh and they're just a very cool gun so anyways thanks for watching